everyone. It is Sunday. I wanted to show you guys the breakfast of like a weekend for my son. So right here I just have one egg and a sausage cut up, a little thing of cheese, and like a quarter of a banana. Today is Monday and I'm going to show you guys what I pack for my son's lunch. Before I get into that, I am going to show you guys his bento box. I purchased this one at Target for about $20, $25. And it just has the two latches right here. It has all the little compartments. I also purchased his lunch box from Target as well. It's just cars theme. This one was like $10. I got it a while back. Um, the thing that I don't really care for is it doesn't have those pockets for the ice pack, but he, it's not like he's in school, so, so all of this is going to go in the fridge anyway. I went ahead and added some Cheerios to the side of my son, or actually for breakfast, because he loves Cheerios. This is just the plain hearts and O's, and this is my son's complete lunch. My mom actually makes him broccoli for a veggie, and yeah, he really enjoyed it. Good morning. Today is day two. Today is Tuesday. I still sound half asleep <laughs> but today's gonna be a really easy day I did allow myself to sleep in a little bit because I knew today's lunch was basically leftovers yesterday we got home late so I just whipped up like a quick hamburger helper or like mac and cheese so I put his leftovers in a bag and I'm just gonna put that right here and then for a little treat, I went ahead and pulled out one of his snacks that I got for the Easter basket. And this is just like some peach tots. I don't know. They're kind of like gummies for toddlers. I was kind of going back and forth between like a fruit cup or a applesauce. Um, I don't want to give him too much sugar just because I gave him that little treat. Um, I would probably go more towards the peaches. Or actually, no. I'll go with the applesauce because this is peach flavor. So I'll go with the apples. And then I have a cucumber here. I'm just going to peel it. But honestly, I don't know what happened to my peeler. So I'm going to have to just kind of take it off myself. completes this completes today's lunch i'm not sure how he's gonna feel about the cucumber he doesn't like certain textures but i still try to like introduce certain foods to him 
Welcome to Wednesday. Today I'm going to pack leftovers again. I actually made this last night. We didn't get to eat it, but I wanted to pack something kind of like St. Patty's Day for him. Right here is just some four leaf clover raviolis with five cheese in the middle. It is from Costco. If you guys watch my Costco haul, I picked it up there. And then I am going to cut up some cucumber a little bit for me and I'm going to try to give it to him today again. And then I'm going to pack in a fruit cup and here I'm just kind of cooking some broccoli. Okay, this completes today's lunch. Sometimes I have a hard time like filling in the complete bento box. But he is too, so it's not like he's going to eat like a big meal. did want to mention about this bento box. I didn't know that this could go in the microwave. That's really cool. I also read that it's not dishwasher safe, so I do hand wash this, but it's super easy to wash. And yeah, that completes today's lunch. So it's still Wednesday, you guys. It's Wednesday night, and I'm prepping my son's lunch for tomorrow. So tomorrow's an easy packing morning. Um, I decided I'm going to make quiche cups for St. Patty's Day. What I did is I cooked some sausage. I'm going to cut them up. I'm cooking some quick broccoli. I'm going to add broccoli, sausage, and cheese in the egg cups. And here's just my measuring cup that I'm going to use. I'm cooking dinner right now. Um, and then I got this at Target. I'm going to use the green one since it's St. Patty's Day tomorrow. And then the assorted color food coloring. It comes with red, yellow, green, blue. Of course, I'm going to use a green. I'm not going to do all of the egg bites green just because I don't know if my son's going to like that. Because... <laughs> Right now he's at the age of like experimenting new foods, new textures, new flavors. So I don't want to scare him away with the color even though he loves eggs. So I'm going to give him like probably one green one and one regular one so he can have. I have this little girl here and my son holding on to my leg. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. I thought it would be a perfect idea for me to prep it the night before and just store it in a container. That way um, 
it will be easy packing for tomorrow morning. So yeah, it's super easy. Like I said, I made some green and some plain and I'll probably take one or two of these to lunch as well. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday and yesterday we made the egg bites. So I went ahead and added the egg bites, just a green one and a regular one. I forgot to add cheese. So I went ahead and cut up just like a cheese stick and put it in cubes. On a side, I did pull out a snack from, um, from the Easter basket because it came in like a huge pack. Let me show you. Well, actually, it's shown in one of my videos. They're like cheddar balls. So yeah, I've been wanting his peaches. So I'm gonna add a side of peaches. Happy Friday, everyone. So I'm running kind of late, but last night we did have the corned beef, potatoes, and Brussels sprouts, and all of the good stuff. So for lunch, it is leftovers. I'm just packing a applesauce on the side along with the little Cheeto mini white cheddar cheese balls. Thank you guys for watching. I thought I would just show you guys what I pack my two-year-old toddler for lunch. Thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you that show me love and comment down in my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to also click the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. Right now is once a week, but my goal is two times a week. And if you guys like these realistic lunch videos, then let me know down below. I definitely plan on filming more for you.